Welcome to another edition of What's the 411. I'm Courtney Rashawn, and in studio today we have girl group Blush Music. Hey. Welcome, ladies! Hey. Welcome! <laughs> Please, ladies, introduce yourselves to everyone. All right, what's up? I'm Sunny. I'm Tally. I'm Bunny Ray. And, and we are Blush Music with three H's. Oh, wow. I love That's it. Nice. I love you practice it. that, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's natural. I love it. So, ladies, um, tell us where you're from. All right. I'm Sunny, and I am originally from Woodland Hills, California. I'm Tally, and I am from Houston, Texas. I'm Bunny Ray, and I'm also from Houston, Texas. Where are you guys living now? Are you in Houston yes, with I them? Yes, I'm in Houston. Mm -hmm. How did you guys meet up? Ooh, seven years ago through social media. Are you kidding me? Kid you not. Tell us the story. <laughs> <laughs> Kid you not. <laughs> well, it started um, when two rappers looking for a vocalist uh, realized how important melody was going to be and how much I wanted to do something different and set us apart. Um, at the time, Facebook was popping. And we it's went to Facebook. Anymore. I mean, it, it was like, <laughs> there was no Instagram okay. then. So, right. it was... You know. What about MySpace? Twitter, it was what was know. after MySpace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was like right. 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 big oh, thing. Okay. Like everybody was, you know, you know, on their phones in school right. and on Facebook and stuff. So anyway, it was uh we were looking for a singer, you know, in the Houston area, someone that we can go personally meet and her name kept popping up. Like <laughs> it was her first name, best singer. And her last name, like, she had put Best Singer as the middle name, like, on her profile. Mm -hmm. And, like, she... <laughs> oh, that was a good idea. <laughs> like, yes. I brand myself. <laughs> exactly. And, yeah. like, she had all these pictures and just every, like, you could just tell from looking at her profile from just, you know, visually, image-wise, and just everything, it fit with what we were looking for. So, slid in her inbox, had this long, drawn-out message, and she was like, sure, great. When you want to meet? You want to hear my voice? Like... <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. And it was pretty much history from there. Um, she, you know, Houston is very big, yes. but so you can live on one side of Houston and you'd be forty five minutes away from another side. Mm -hmm. And she was forty five minutes away, mm -hmm. and so uh, we would make that job. And eventually, she came to our side, and we started living together. And we came about when she came about is when the name came about because we didn't really have a name then. Which she could tell you about it, but it's blush music with three H's, which means B lives under stone hearts. And the hearts, three hearts stand for the three hearts in the group. Aww. And so, yeah, five years later, fast forward, met Mr. Nose at a showcase. Yes. We got signed from that showcase, and he signed us to Artist Development. Six months into Artist Development, we had a group member change from one of the original female MCs, and we found Miss Bunny Wright on Instagram. Really? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is like a, a salt and pepper kind of Spinderella story. <laughs> oh, because that, yeah, yeah, she kind of hopped in there like that too, but... Yeah, so it, she came in, she learned the single within like a day. She learned the choreo within like a week. So we was like, all right, the chemistry's right. The look is right. We can keep it moving. You know, Miss Nose was like, you know, I, I'm i giving y'all complete creative control over that because at the end of the day, that's y'all sisterhood, that's y'all bond. Right. It has to be, you know, with genuine. Right. And so he left that up to us. And she came in and we bonded ever since and we completed our development together. And now we're on our radio promo tour. Nice. Wow. So what, Perfect. so what cities have you visited so far? Oh, man, that list. All right, so Baton, Baton Rouge, Rouge, New Orleans, Orleans uh, Baltimore, Baltimore, Jackson, Mississippi, Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi Baltimore, Atlanta, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, oh, Chattanooga, St. Louis, California, Charlotte. Yeah. Wow. Really? <laughs> so it's like all, really? uh, uh, yeah. I listen to all. <laughs> really? Like, that's oh, where well, because yeah. post, most of them we like, did LA. on the road. We got the road trip. We got to yeah, drive. Yeah, like hopped in a car, flying, hopped in a van, van right. and we. got the real Motown. Like, sometimes we were in a city less than an hour. Like when we were in, um, what was it, North Carolina? We went from Louisiana to Alabama within like one day. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was just like. Okay. So are you guys singing in these cities or are you just doing radio promo or people having you sing, harmonize, that um, kind of thing? Well, we rapinize. Yeah. And we're doing rapinize. radio. Yeah. 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 And you have, yeah. to give, you have to give them, the people out there, an example of the rap, rapinizing. Right. Let's rapinize. Yes. Can I beep up? <laughs> uh -huh. huh. We bringing that, bringing that, bringing that old school back. We bringing that old school hip hop back. Uh huh. Uh huh. We bringing that, bringing that, bringing that old school back. We bringing that old school hip hop back. I love it. Oh, I love it. Nice. 
See how the voices blend? That's rapping. Yes, yes, that's <laughs> definitely rapping. So, how would you best describe your music? I know you said it's rapping, but you are definitely the singer. the singer, and you guys rap. So, what kind of is it? More of an R and B? Is it more of a um, hip hop uh, singing? Hip hop. It's all it's about the hip hop. So, your style, your musical style, is definitely hip hop. Mm -hmm. Now, who are some of your influences? Oh yeah, Ooh, almost fell back. Um, <laughs> Uh, this is Sunny speaking. Um, my growing up, I was a big and still are a fan of MC Light, Lauren Hill, Tupac, and Queen Latifah. Now, oh, current day, cool. yeah, current day, I'm big on um, like what? Well, Drake, Timberland, Missy Elliott, Dr. J, Kendrick, yeah. and J Cole. Nice. Oh, nice. What about your influences? Yes, Tally. What's Tally. up, I'm Tally. <laughs> now, um, so I grew up, I started singing at three, so mine is Michael Jackson. He was the first person I sang, You Were Not Alone. And my mama, like, really listened to Janet Jackson and the Jacksons, so they came about. <laughs> they helped mold me, and Destiny's Child was the first concert I went to, the rodeo. So, of course, Destiny's Child, H-Town. And um, Sade, mm -hmm. uh, Celine Dion, Shakira, Selena, and... I've recently been, not recently, but within the years of rapping, N.W.A. and Bone Thugs and Harmony. Oh, um, I, love Bone I really, yes, I yeah. really Fair found day. that in with us because it's like a girl version. We right. remind him of, mm -hmm. and uh, Chance the Rapper. Yeah, that's mine. And Bunny Ray. All right, <laughs> so we got Left Eye, we got Debrat, we got Lil Kim, you got. Modern day Kanye, I love love Kanye. He's so creative. Yes, yes. Um, I listen to a, a group called Flatbush Zombies. They're kind of like underground, but they're from Flatbush, New York. That was really okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's kind of what my playlist consists of. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Yeah. nice. So let me ask you guys another question. Now, how would you describe your your style? Like, because you, you know, you all have a uh, hip hop, but it's like a glam hip hop. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like I said before, when I first saw you, it's mm -hmm. like a Destiny Child meets TLC meets like a Run DMC. So how would you best describe your, your style collectively? Well, we do match, as you can yes, see. Yes, yes. <laughs> With, we're big on matching, you know, Miss Nose is big on, if I see one member and I see two in a whole nother building, I'm automatically like, oh, you're with them, y'all in a group, right? Like, it has to be cohesive. Amongst being cohesive, we do have our individual things about ourselves that you're going to always notice. So, you know, you're always going to notice Sunny with the braids and the hat. Right. Tally with the, you know, the big blonde hair. Something She's, rare. Right. Something right. edgy, something, something. Right, right. Artistic. <laughs> like, she's super artsy with what she wears. Right. Like, I'm yeah. going to draw on something or rip it up. Yeah. 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 It's never going to be right. how she bought it in the store. Right. <laughs> big hair don't care. It's, it's a Houston mm. thing, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Ye
Kelly Rowling. Really? I'm going to say Kelly Rowling. What? Tell For us me. about that. Tell know. us about that. Um, with Kelly Rowling, uh, well, she played a big part when I was growing up, period, in my high school days. So when Sonny found me, I was telling Sonny about yeah. it. And so Sonny was like, you know, I, okay, okay. And so we got signed with Mr. Nose. It was weird. And then so we just had uh, Atlanta car show? Yeah. Car and bike show that he we did. Six car show. And, yeah. you know, she has June's Diary. And they were there. And they performed. So when we got to meet Kelly and she seen us across the room, she ran to us. And she was, she hey, was oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you. Great very job. Sweet. And I finally got to introduce her. And they nice. were just like, we heard so much about you. And she's just so sweet. She took a picture with us. She gave us great advice. Oh, great. Um, yeah. And that was something we just took with us. And we were really, because it's like meeting the entire Destiny's Child group. It's like really right. being like we're a music world entertainment family. Right. What do you guys want our listeners to know about Blush? One thing each. Okay. All right. Original. Yeah. You took too long. You stole it. I knew I was about to say it. She knows I was about to say it. You said well. Because I was trying to. She said, let me get mine out real quick. She's like, I'm original. Original. Still mine. Yeah, but that's true. That's true, though. Still mine. Always be you. Don't sound depressed. Always be you. Yes, talk to the viewers. Always be you. Your identity. No one can be you better than you, in the words of Tally. Yes. And also let everyone let everyone know the name of your single and where they can find you on yes, social media. Mm-hmm. Definitely. This is major key to your life. You need to go download this single, Old School Back, on iTunes. Yes. But you have to type in Blush Music with three H's. And I'm going to spell it out for you. B-L-U-S-H-H-H-M-U-S-I-C. Go download the single, go download the video, and go follow us on all social media. Did you give everyone your social media handles? Yeah. Okay. All right, it's all the same. It's, it's all, all the same. same. Oh, same. <laughs> you guys are excellent. And Thank you. Thank you for coming to the What's music. the 411. Yes, yes. yes. You guys have to come back and visit. Come, definitely come back and visit yes. us. Yes. We're going to grow. <laughs> well, there you have it. Blush Music in studio with Courtney Rashawn and Onika McLean. And thank you guys for watching.